Sawati Ka, the Chan Ariel Ka. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I don't know where I'm looking. Look at the camera over this way. So anyway, I've been up for the last couple of hours. I think I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. I feel like drifting in and out. And then like 5, 30, 6 o'clock this morning, I started crying. Like just crying and crying. I don't even know what the hell I was crying about. But then I realized, I'm like, oh, it's the hormones. Like the hormones <laughs> makes you so fucking crazy. <laughs> and I think it's like thinking about relationships and stuff because... You know, a lot of times I, you know, always talk about like why I'm single and stuff like that, even though it's a lot of guys around, you know, even in the, you know, when I'm out and about, very nice people and very nice men and everything, but no, like I'm trying to stay by myself because, you know, I told you guys so many times that I failed in my relationship and that was over 11 years ago now, since 2010. I've been away from that fool. And, you know, it's hard for me because it's like I, I'm i the type of person, you can't cheat on me. Like, I'm not the one. Because I know myself. I know how I am. If you cheat on me, bitch, I'll cheat on you. And I'll cheat on you times ten. I'll make sure I triple it because I wrote the book on the shit. So, I'm not a cheating type person until I get cheated on. And then I'm going to revenge. You know, and... I don't like that. Like, I don't like that kind of relationship. Like, I want to be with somebody and be committed with them. And in a relationship, friendship, somebody that I trust and I can rely on and they can rely on me, like vice versa. But every time, you know, I'm in a relationship with somebody, there's always another person in the relationship. There's always another girl. She doesn't look anything like me. She's always skinnier. She's another race of somebody. And I'm like, well, bitch, why are you over here with me? You know, all in my pockets, all in my ATM machine, all the blow-up dolls and all the love yous and you're my princess, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a lie. Because if you really, really cared anything about me, you wouldn't do those things to me. And I think with me, with my ex, for me, with him, he was so verbal about, like verbally abusive about anything that made me happy. Like I'm an artist. Most of you guys know I have a performing arts degree. I worked at Disney for many years in the theme parks. And that's my creative side. Like I have to do some form of art. I love animals. I love um languages and meeting people i don't see just the united states i see the whole entire planet he didn't like that he didn't like that i was in his country trying to learn his language and stuff like that and so it made it very difficult for me because i'm like i'm the one traveling 11 hours by flight to your country you know to be with you and you don't you're not trying to help me understand how to talk to the local people luckily a lot of people spoke english and that could just spoke a few little words of Arabic or whatever. And so, you know, when we broke up, he just basically was telling me how ugly I was and how what a cow was and all this negative shit. And I just took it in. I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to argue with you about it because it is what it is. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But, you know, mark my words, the next guy that comes around, it's like, I'm not going to make it so easy for them. And so I just choose to stay by myself like I just I cannot handle rejection and I can't handle somebody cheating on me and I can't stand it if I'm with someone and you're constantly looking at somebody at least look at a bitch that looks like me can you look at somebody that at least looks like I look because uh, otherwise why are you over here with me I'm not your maid I'm not your blow up doll I'm not your ATM machine so why why are you here you know, and what are you doing for me? Because I wasn't happy with the shit you were doing to me and the stuff that you were saying to me. You could have kept all of that, including the sex. All of it. kept. You could have kept all, all of it. And that's nine times out of ten the case. Like, I'm doing all this stuff to be with this, these, these, this person in the relationship. And they're already on the next street with somebody else trying to be with somebody else. And that's just how it's been my experience. And so... You know, you hear people say, oh, you're so sweet, you're so nice, you're so kind, you're so pretty, you're an angel, you're an earth angel, blah, blah, blah. But then when it comes to relationships, I'm 
everything else. You're a slut. You're a whore. You're this. You're that. I'm like, oh, okay.